Hello and welcome back to Vagram's Chance Mod Pack with me, Trionis. So, a few changes since last Thursday. As you can see, I am wearing diamond armor, not iron armor anymore. I had a bit of a upgrade, which is cool. So, as you may have imagined, I've gone mining, yes. Uh, but a couple of things have changed. As you can see, I have been able to make myself a fourth energy collector mark two. Then this nice configuration here, and I'm still making dark matter. Uh, so these two on either side are getting powered by those torches, which I actually forgot about. Uh, I'm just recharging a client star in there. Uh, and the top one is being powered by the uh, glowstone that's just on the roof up there. So, uh, and I have also, one of the biggest things that I made, is this alchemical bag. Uh, it's very similar to the golden bag of holding, uh, but to my mind, that little bit better because uh, it's a little bit cheaper to make. As you can see, it's just three high covalence dust, uh, the alchemical chest, which is just one diamond. Uh, so that's two diamonds there and a bunch of wool. Uh, to have the different colours, as you can see here, you just change the colour dye. Uh, now that's fairly important because these alchemical bags are fairly similar to the ender chest. In fact, they're very similar to them. Uh, the corresponding colour will actually match up with their other set. So if you've got two white chemical bags, whatever you put in one will be in the other. So if I had two of these bags and I went off adventuring and off into the wilderness and then something happened and I died, anything in that bag would actually also be in this bag here. So, uh, I will create myself a second bag soon. Uh, but there's a question I want to ask you, basically. Uh, I'm getting to the point where I uh, will be needing some machines shortly to start uh, doubling up some of my ores and things like that. And believe you me, I've got a lot of ores. Because, like I say, I've been mining. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I need to, oh, look at that. Uh, I need to decide on which machine mod to go for first. Uh, it looks like they've got icicles on the side and a reef at the front. Someone's getting ready for Christmas. A little bit too soon to my mind, but never mind. Um, so I need to decide which machines to actually go for. Should I do the same as what I'm doing in the Bevo server playthrough that I'm doing? Uh, with the uh, Darsling and uh, Scoop and Kankadir and everyone on there and I'm um, doing Mechanism on there. Or, I think the only other machines on this one is Ender I.O. Which I have touched upon but I haven't done a right lot on it. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know which machines to go for because obviously with Mechanism uh, I can... Uh, triple my ores and five times my ores and stuff like that but with EMC and whatnot that kind of evens itself out or do I go for the mechanism mod uh, not sorry the ender IO mod and uh, use something on those sort of lines and I can't make up my mind which one to go for so I'm asking you guys at home which one do you think you'd like to see me try to do so, anyway, uh, for this episode, what I thought was that, uh, quite frankly, I am still earthbound. So, uh, I want to try and make another Project E uh, item. I don't know if I will be able to make it. It depends on uh, how much stuff I would need. Now, where's the Project E? There it is. This item is called the, if I can find it, the Swift Wolf's Rendering Gale. Now, as you can see, fairly expensive. It is four dark matter, four feathers, and 
an iron band. Uh, so the iron band I'm not too concerned about. The feathers I don't think I'm too concerned about. If I can find it, thank you. It's just the dark matter. I need four of these. So uh, I don't really know if I've got enough coal for that uh, <laughs> to make it manually. So I might be better off just sticking all these emeralds. Because uh, I've got 80 in there, that's fine. All these emeralds into the condenser. Uh, and seeing what we get. Uh, so let's just go like that. There we go. That should do. That's enough. <laughs> oh dear, I love this mod pack. Um, and I love this mod. I always did like BE2. I don't know why people ruined it for me. Oh well, never mind. So, let's stick... Uh, that into there, so I know where it is. That into there, so that's easy enough to go. Uh, I need some iron. Have I got any iron cooked up? Just the one, typical. Never mind. Uh, I need eight, and then I need another eight as well. Uh, there we go. And I need to cook that up. Done. Okay, so I just need to wait for that to do. Let's just double check I've got everything else. So I just need feathers. Uh, and if I've got any, they would be in there or in there. And I cannot see any. So it looks like we are going to have a little bit. Uh, so. Yeah, no, I don't think I've got any of them. Right, okay, let's. Uh, hardware acquired, I don't think so. I think that's reset itself. Let's get a bucket. And stick that aim back in there. So, anyway, I need to find a chicken. So, let's go off and see what we can find. I know I've got sheep and horses and cows around me. I don't know if I've seen any. Chickens, to be quite honest. I only need the one feather because the others I can just uh, condense and make a load more. Just a question of where a chicken might be. They're cool islands. And of course it's Queen Knight, but then again, that, that'll make it a little bit more interesting, our little journey. They are very cool islands, aren't they? Hmm. Might have to consider building something on there. I haven't really decided what main structure I'm going to build. I did on and now about building that castle again that I did on my single player of Bevo. Uh, I have even con contemplated the fact that I could build that blacksmith again that I have done on the uh, server version of Bevo as well. But uh, oh, I could try and build something completely different. I don't know. Again, something else that maybe you could help me with. Uh, if you want me to build the castle or the blacksmith again. Or if I should try something different. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I'll tell you what, I could have done an extra. Uh, dark matter is make myself a new sword might do that to be quite honest have a quick gand up and I've done a silly thing as well I've come out without any food so yeah let me just try and get back to base and I can't sprint anymore because I've starved myself which is brilliant absolutely brilliant it's going to be one of them days <laughs> but uh, yeah, never mind. Never mind at all. I will walk. Uh, actually, I don't know why I'm walking. I can just do that instead, can't I? So I had a load of food in here. Uh, my toes. Perfect. Right, I'm going to throw uh, my dark mass away. It's not that one because that's why I'm using for the. Uh, 
ring itself. Zombie brains can go away. I just need a single diamond. Perfect. I might as well make myself a decent dark matter sword. Okay, uh, now to be honest with you, uh, I'm not too sure what might have changed in here. I might need my client style as well. Sorry about this. Okay, so, uh, got me food, got myself a new sword. I might as well just power this thing up. Don't look too bad. I wish it was a bit specialized to match with the rest of the world. Uh, oh, <laughs> did you hear that thing? I scared me. Uh, so, yeah, did that take any power off the AMC clients? So, no, I don't think it did. I don't, uh, don't know what's changed with the Dark Matter Sword, to be quite honest with you. Let's see, these guys are no match. What did he drop? A steel helmet. Cool. Obviously, armor-wise, I'm just thinking uh, about me going into Ender.io and mechanism. Armor-wise, I will use Dark Matter and Red Matter and hopefully go up to the gem armor. Uh, that's kind of one of the goals I want for this series. Um, now, I just need... It's going to be the Minecraft rules, isn't it? You want something... So you can't find it. But I'm after chickens at the moment. This is not going to be any chickens about. Aha! Last. On the creeper. Get a oh, silly thing. Got me a fire. Don't you dare. That even got me a feather. No. Okay. Try this friend over here. Drop me a feather. Thank you. At last. Right. Let's head off home. Thank you. Teleport. Yay. Right. So I just need... Uh... Oh, these don't, I'll get a load of them doing that, but uh, I need two, three, four, and five. Keep the fifth one and get rid of you. And you can do that. Right, let me just empty my chest. I also need to pay a visit to the nether to get a bucket of lava, and I will be right back. Okay, um, I've just come back to the nether portal and it's brought me into a weird spot. I don't know what has happened. It didn't take me back to my normal place, but it has brought me to some diamonds. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm lucky, I've got two torches there. Um, that's weird. I'll grab these while I'm here. <laughs> um, yeah. Very strange. I found some more lava, but, uh, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to mount this. Uh, one blood second. Uh, strange place. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we had all of this more diamonds. Huh? This place is packed with them. Um, right, home teleport to right and okay. So, uh, well, look at that, thirty-one diamonds, nice. Um, <laughs> so we've got us bucket of lava. We've got us feathers. Where I put them? Where did I put those feathers? That's um, there they are. Right, four feathers. I need that iron. Thank you very much. 
And I also need these. <clears throat> and I can use this crafting bench. And one, two, three, four in the corners. Uh, not doing that wrong because I need to make the iron band first. <laughs> uh, yep. One iron band. Or dark matter. Or feathers. And the swift, swift wolf's vendoring gale. Now, this is the one of the most important things. I think you need to keep it on your hot bar. I will do a test. Now I will need my flying star back. This will take power out of it. But this acts exactly the same as the wings in the Bevo. I can now have full, almost creative flight. And it looks like I didn't put glowstone up there. I actually put a torch up there. Oh well, never mind. Uh, so this will get power from my client star, so it's not, it does require fuel, uh, but the higher tier ones that you get, the longer you can fly. So, kind of cool, kind of cool. Uh, let's move that to there. Ouch. That almost killed me. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like you do need to keep it on your heart bar to use, but you shouldn't take fall damage if you keep it on there either. So, yeah, I've got full flight capabilities. And what's this, the fifth or sixth episode, something like that? I'm probably wrong. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting there fairly quickly. Uh, so, like I say, I'll need to start working on some of the machines. I also need to come up with something fairly decent to build as well, instead of having this little shack of mine. So that's really over to you. What would you like to see me build and what would you like to see me machine wise? So I think I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you very much for joining me. Do remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed and any hints, tips or comments do leave them in the comment section. But otherwise, thank you very much and I will see you later. Bye.